It's always a bit surreal when Hollywood doubles up with separate movies about the same thing. There's been Asteroids, Ants, Reality TV, and more recently Truman Capote. It's even more surreal when it's the same filmmaker. And he's done it twice. But it's about to get the most surrealist, with three Salvador Dali biopics all set to start shooting this year. There's Al Pacino and director Andrew Nichol doing the idiot proof titled Dali and I, The Surreal Story, which starts in June. There's Al Philip Mora, who's writing and directing another. And there's the third project, which is by no one you've ever heard of, but he did actually know Dali. Expect to see long, thin moustaches, melting clocks, and sliced eyeballs plastered on movie posters everywhere next year. After years of talking it up in the press, it looks like Dan Aykroyd may finally see his dream realised. Ghostbusters 3 is now looking more likely than ever. Now that Aykroyd's overcome the project's biggest hurdle, finding a gap in the schedules of Ernie Hudson and Annie Potts, he's looking to put Ghostbusters Hellbound into production. The story, which Aykroyd says is very similar to his original draft of the first movie, sees the main characters going to hell to battle Satan and an array of frightening monsters. But here's the catch. The entire movie is going to be computer generated. The reason for the CGI? Bill Murray apparently told Dan Aykroyd that he would never appear in another Ghostbusters movie. Aykroyd, being the cunning man that he is, decided to make it animated, meaning Murray could simply spend one day recording voiceover, then collect his check on the way out. Hey, it'll be just like Garfield. Hey, it'll be just like Garfield. Oh, God. Movie stars rarely take roles that make them look bad. Well, consciously anyway. They tend to go for the heroic, the virtuous, the award-worthy parts. Musician Russell Crowe is unfortunately taking this road most travelled again with a revisionist telling of Robin Hood. But this time, it's Robin Hood who's the baddie, and the Sheriff of Nottingham to be played by Crowe, he's the good guy. So we've gone from the classic moustache-twirling villainy of Melville Cooper to the deliciously evil Alan Rickman to... whatever that thing is. What is that, a badger? Now to Crow, playing a noble, misunderstood man of the law. And what will be Crow's karmic punishment for his part in ruining one of the great screen villains? He's only getting paid 20 million to star in it. That'll learn him. You know how every time they make an Ocean's Eleven film, the first image released is a shot of George, Brad and Matt together, and you look at it and go, oh my god, could they be any more handsome and famous? <sighs> well, sorry boys, you're about to be usurped. Prepare for the holy trinity of Dolph Lundgren, Jean-Claude Van Damme, and Chuck Norris. Yes, the Swede, the Belgian, and the Republican may all star together in a vanity project that Lundgren himself is putting together. Information on the film is sketchy at this early stage, but some reports suggest that the film may be a comedy. We here at the Bazura Project consider this a distinct likelihood. We'll be back after this.